Fy enw i yw Geraint Roberts, a groen eich crysawu chi i'r fideo yma i gofio llywelyn ap griffedd ein llyw ola. Bob blwyddyn, rydw i a David Peterson yn cyflwyno y seremoni o'r gofeb. Dyw yna ddim i fod y lenni, felly dyn ni wedi creu fideo yn lle. Dwi eisiau chi feddwl wrth i chi wylio ar fideo yma, dwi eisiau chi feddwl am lywelyn a'i gwmpau, ond hefyd fel ni'n meddwl bob blwyddyn, a mae ddylunwyr e am y bobl a aeth gyda fe i ardal bi allt ar ymser yna ym 1822 ac a gafodd ei lladd. Ac y wir fel y clywch chi yn ni'n meddwl am bawb sydd wedi eberthu dros Gymrigdod, dros y blynyddoedd. My name is Geraint Roberts and every year you'll find me at the memorial in Kilmeri helping to present the ceremony with David Peterson, but that is not to be this year. So we've created this video, which will give you an idea of the sorts of things that we usually do. And as you watch this video and listen to it, we hope that you will remember Llywelyn Ap Griffith, Ein Llyw Olaf, a Will Ask Prince. And, as we always say every year, we don't just remember Llywelyn, but we remember his followers, and we remember everyone. We remember those who have kept the flame of Welshness and a dream of Welsh freedom alive over the years. Nawr felly, fe gawn ni glywed gan David Peterson, y gof ar artist yr ymgyrchydd, yn darllen gwaith a diweddar Gwynfor Ifans, fersiwn o drank llywelyn. David Peterson, artist, blacksmith, campaigner, usually shares the duties of presenting at the memorial with me every year. This year, he sends us a video where he reads from the work of the late Gwynfor Ifans. This is a version of Llywelyn's death, drawing on a number of sources. Gwynfor Ifans notes the magnitude of Llywelyn's task in the first place, and he puts him in context. And he talks of his role in establishing what we are today. This is taken from Land of My Fathers by Gwynfor Evans. At a time when the Welsh were getting the best of the war, Llywelyn's life came to an abrupt and frightening end. He was killed on the banks of the Irvon near Lanfair in Mucht, Bilth. What was he doing in such a dangerous place so far from Gwynedd, which was surrounded by the armies and navies of Edward, unless he had been enticed there by some clever conspiracy? According to the letters of Archbishop Peckham, a document was found on his body referring to invitations to go there from the Marcher Lords. He was related to the powerful Mortimer family by marriage. Perhaps the sons of that family had cooperated in the conspiracy. Very conveniently, the original document disappeared, and also a copy sent to the Chancellor by the Archbishop. However, his enemies were waiting for him. When Llewellyn came to kill Mary on December the 11th, 1282, the Prince stood with 18 of his men by the Irvon Bridge, and these 18 could have defended the bridge adequately against horse soldiers, even though they were there in abundance. But they were confronted by longbow archers placed amongst the cavalry, the first time this type of fighting to be used. And it was these who overcame the 18. Clewellyn escaped, but when he was on his way to join his retinue on the land above the river, a horseman, Stephen de Frankton, galloped up to him and ignorant of his identity, sent his spear through his body. While Llewellyn lay on the ground, fatally wounded, the Norman army attacked his leaderless retinue from the fore and the rear on Llanganton Field. And like the 18 at the bridge, the flower of Wales's freedom army fell under showers from the longbows. Later on, Llewellyn was found still alive. According to Archbishop Peckham, he asked many times for a priest, but was not brought one. As T.D. Williams has shown, the Waverley Chronicle records that the wounded Llewellyn was taken prisoner by Edward Mortimer and executed on the spot. Thus, in pain and alone, surrounded by malicious enemies, the life of the nation's main hope came to an end, in circumstances which were those of an assassination rather than a battle. For over a quarter of a century, this brave, cultured man had led his people with 
extraordinary skill. He was destined to face a Goliath of a country, many times larger than his own, which was finally able to trample him down. We know now that his life was lived to great purpose. It was for a far distant generation to see, says J.E. Lloyd, that the last prince was not, had not lived in vain, but by his life work had helped to build solidly the enduring fabric of Welsh nationality. My bob am said and vrank cal crusawi a doctor Elin Jones. I hith then in non brief am gerchwerni. Dros yn hanes yn hunen, yn ymgyrchu ar mwyn sicrhau bod yn plant yn pobl ifanc yn cael clywed a mae'n gorffennol yn hunen. Elyn ni fel cymaint ohono ni, fydd i ddim wrth o gofeb, ond eto mae'n edrych mlaen a dyblynyddoedd sydd i ddod, tra'n myfyrio ar ein gorffennol. Dr. Elyn Jones of Ystrad Manach is one of our foremost campaigners striving to ensure that the children and young people of Wales are allowed to learn their own history. Here, yeah, she reflects on Llewellyn and the world in which he lived. It was such a different world in many ways to the world in which we live today. But we still speak the same language. We still belong to our bro as Llewellyn belonged to his. We are still a Cymru. We are not necessarily better than anyone else in the world, but we are different. And these differences should be celebrated, for they are part of the richness of our world. Llewellyn and his followers defended Wales, they defended our Welsh identity. They defended the things that made us what we were and what we are.
Nesaf rydyn ni'n falch o groesawu'r prifardd a doctor Maria Hopwood sy'n darllen cerdd gan y diweddar prifardd yw anllwyd. Athro'r Gymraeg ac astudiaethau Celtaidd ym Mhrif Ysgol Aberystwyth yw Dr Hopwood. Mae'n enillydd ar y gystadlaethau'r goron ar fedr ryddiaeth yn yr Eisteddfa Genedlaethol. Nillodd yw anllwyd yn dai a goron genedlaethol, wrth gwrs, a ni gerdd yma mae wrth y gofeb saith canrif wedi llall y wylyn. Dr Mererid Hopwood reads the work of the late Ewan Llwyd. Dr Hopwood is Professor of Welsh and Celtic Studies in Aberystwyth University, winner of the Chair and the Prose Medal in the National Eisteddfod and one of our foremost contemporary poets. Ewan Llwyd, poet and musician, was also a winner of the National Crown. He was at the monument in 1982. Seven centuries seemed to come together that day. We've counted our losses, he says, but we can still look to the horizon. And then a baby cries, the new generation, to face the challenges of another century. In our leg, day leg, with the day, can you want to read? Day sight can live and hear an oyrevel kilmeri, our dial and devery at govion. Sight can live or son a more chestion hen oisai, our dear and gumalai gunion. Saith canrif o sefyll ar erchwyn y dibyn a'n traed bron ferryn yr unfan. Saith canrif o gyfrir colledion yn dawel ac edrych i'r gorwel yn ddistaw. Saith canrif yn ddistaw ger carreg cilmeri ar awel ar rewi Llif Irvon. Yna, bloeddiodd y baban, a thoddi'r geiafddydd, a chwalu'r distawrwydd, a her canrif newydd yn nychryn i waith. Un arall o'r ffyddloniaid yw'r cynghorydd sir William Powell o Dalgarth. Mae e'n gynlywydd a'r Ddemocratiad Rhyfredol Cymru ac yn gyn aelod cynulliad a'r gynolbarth a gorllewin Cymru. A mae e'n sôn eleni a mae twyllwch mae'n gweld yn cau amdano ni. Mae'n nodi pwysigrwydd cofio llywelyn a chylmeri ac yn edrych ymlaen fel nynnau gyd at wel y seremoni a flwyddyn nesaf. County Councillor William Powell is another one of our stalwarts in the commemoration every year. Rain or shine, more often rain. He's the immediate past president of the Welsh Liberal Democrats and a former Assembly member for Mid and West Wales. And this year he talks to us of the threats that he sees facing Wales and Welshness. Hello, Paul. A Diochan Vauri Geraint, our team, and Gwahodia di Gamrid Ran, Hedu. It's a great privilege once again to take part in this Kilmeri commemoration of the dark events of 1282. But this year is like no other year. In many ways, we're experiencing our own dark times with a combination of COVID, which many of us have either experienced or know at close quarters, the devastating effect that's having upon our country and our wider world. But also, there are other forms of darkness. And in the context of Wales today, one of the greatest threats is the undermining of that precious move towards home rule, which I and people in my own party and people across the parties in Wales have been working towards in the last couple of decades. I believe this year more than ever, it's vital to commemorate Llewellyn and everything that this place, Kilmeri, stands for. I hope that once again soon we will be able to gather at that hallowed place in Welsh history. But in the meantime, we must redouble our efforts to see off those who would undermine the Welsh nationhood and the move towards a full 
home rule for our country. We need to be vigilant because, as I say, there are dark forces at work and we need to recognise that and be ready to resist. In the meantime, I wish you all a good commemoration, good health and look forward to seeing you again in the appropriate place, which is, of course, Kilmeri, maybe having a swift half as well in the Prince Llewellyn afterwards. Diolch Vaur, thank you very much indeed. Bye-bye. Fel arfer, wrth y gofeb, bob blwyddyn, rydw i'n canu yr pibau Cymreig ac rwy'n canu alaw marnad yr ehedydd arnyn nhw. A mae'r pobl yn holi fi pam marnad yr ehedydd, wel, can a gasglwyd yn adall yn hydloes yw i. Ond mae sôn, meddai rai, bod yr alaw yn gysylltiedig a gofain glyndŵr a bod yr ehedydd yn symboledd, yn symbol ohono fe. Felly dyna pan rwy'n i chanu ddi, a nawr yn i'n ffodus iawn bod Jane Williams o gwmafan yn mynd i gani'r gân i ni. Rhyr at Kilmeri, at the monument, I play the Welsh pipes and I always play the same tune. I play Marnad ar hedydd, the elegy for the lack. And people ask me why. Well, this song has connections, it is said, with Owen Glyndwr, another one who has fought for Welsh freedom over the years. So I won't be there playing my pipes this year, but we are fortunate that my friend Jane Williams from Cwmafan has recorded this song for us. Felly, gobeithio wnewch chi fwyn hai a hefyd meddwl am y bobl sy wedi berthu dros Gymreito dros y Cynrifoedd. We hope that you enjoy Jane's singing, but also think about Llywelyn, about Glyndwr and those who have sacrificed for Wales and Welshness over the centuries. Mawr i'n i falch o groesawu y cynghwyrydd Kevin Campbell, mae e'n aelod o gabinet cyngor Sir Gyfyrddin gyda chyfrifoldeb dros gymunedau a materion glitig. Ac fe fydd e yn sefyll dros Blaid Cymru yn yr ethyliadau nesaf i Senedd Cymru. Ac mae Kevin yn myfyrio unwaith eto ar ein herweinwyr ni ac ar bwysigrwydd hanes 
in Hamwebyddiaeth ni o'n cenedlygrwydd am Cymreidod. Next, we welcome Councillor Kevin Campbell. He is a Cabinet Member on Carmarthenshire County Council with responsibility for communities and for rural affairs and he is the lead Plaid Cymru candidate on the regional list for Mid and West Wales for the next elections to the Welsh Senedd. Kevin talks about how important it is to be aware of our history in order to create a better future for our nation. Mae'r bobl yn dod at ei gilydd heddi i gofio am fywyd Llywelyn at Griffith, sef Llywelyn ein lliw olaf, a gafodd ei ladd yn 1282 yng Nghilmeri. Ac mae'r enw Nghilmeri wedi dod yn rhyw fath o symbol o genedl a gollwyd. Cenedl a gollodd i rhyfyd gyda'i farwolaethau a'i fredychu fe mewn gwirionedd gan Brenin Lloegr. A'r miri yn wneith bwyd o'i ladd gan fodau yn arwr mawr i'r Cymru, a'i ben yn cael ei gario ar hyd strydoedd Llundyn. Llywelyn ap Griffith oedd y cyntau sylweddoli gwerth cenedl y Cymru, a fe geisiodd ei unor genedl yna o gwmpas y traddodiadau oedd yn bwysig, fel iaith, a athradodiadau a, a diwylliant. A fe welodd e y syniad o Gymru fel, fel gwlad, fel cenedl cwbl uh, unigryw. Ond yn anffodus, mae hynny wedi mynd yn rhan o'n hanes pell ni, ond mae rhaid i ni gymryd yr ysbrydoliaeth heddi o'r hyn oedd yn bwysig i Llywelyn ap Griffith, sef cenedl falch, cenedl ddylefod o hyd yn genedl annibynnol. Ond y tristwch i yw bod anghofio am gewri'r gorffennol yn golygu bod ni'n anghofio pwy ydyn ni heddi. Ac mae'n fater o siom enfawr, wrth gwrs, bod cymaint o'n plant yn pobl ifanc ni wedi cael ei hamddifadu o hanes pobl ni o'n hunain. Pobl fel um, Maxen Wledig, uh, Dewi Sant y Brenin Arthur, Llywelyn, wrth gwrs, o ein glyn dŵr ar argrwydd ffis, pobl fel Michael D. Jones, pobl fel Williams Pantacellin, pobl mwy diweddar fel Lloyd George, Saunders Lewis a Gwynfor Evans. Mae hyn, wrth gwrs, wedi cael ei esgiliso uh, o'n hysgolion ni a gor curriculum, ac mae'n gyfle nawr gyda'r curriculum newydd i ni sicrhau am hob dosbarth ac am hob ysgol ar draws Cymru bod penseirir genedl arbennig hwn yn cael eu cyflwyno i blant a chenedlaethau'r dyfodol. This day, when we try to commemorate the memory and the legacy of Llywelyn at Griffith, the last true Prince of Wales, it's important that we remember that he was one of the first architects of what we call Wales today. He tried to bring Wales together as one unit, one entity, one nation around um, values like language and culture and traditions. And he refused to, to do any deals with the King of England at the time because he knew that Wales would be brought in uh, to an amalgamation of England and Wales, thus Wales losing its distinctiveness. And I think there's a message there uh, for us today. We must ensure that in future our young people know about the history of the architects of modern Wales. Going back to the days of King Arthur, uh, St David's, our patron saint, uh, and on then to people like Llywelyn, of course, Yr Argrwydd Rhys, Lord Rhys, Owain Glyndwr, the great fighter, warrior, um, people who uh, translated the Bible into Welsh, William Salisbury, William Morgan, the hymns of Williams Pantacellin, and Howell Dda, of course, one of the great architects of modern day lawmaking. And more recently, people like um, Lloyd George, Saunders Lewis, and Gwynfor Evans. These people made today's Wales, and we must ensure that the memory of these people and the wonderful women as well who contributed in many, many different ways to the uh, social and economic development of Wales are remembered as part of our education. We have a wonderful proverb in Welsh, which is Cenedl heb gov, Cenedl heb galon, which in translation means a nation without a memory is a nation without a heart.
it's important for us to remember that a people without a knowledge of their history, their origin and their culture is like a tree without roots. And by being inspired by our past and standing on the shoulders of these great people, we can build a better, stronger, more resilient and more confident Wales in the future. Dymyn ni'n awr yn cael clywed gan Calvin Griffiths o Lanfihangel arall. Un arall o'r ffyddloniad yng Nghelmeri i bob blwyddyn. Yn rhyw yw fro, yn hoelen wyth, ac yn rhyw yw iaith ac yw genedl. Calvin Griffiths, patriot o Llanfihangel ar arall, comes to Kilmeri faithfully every year. In his poem, which he reads here, Calvin looks at the seasons of Llewellyn's life, at his successes and failures, and how that affected those who followed him. So, my girl, this is Craven, I can take over another wall. You go with your quimp and milweer, get a quimp, Llewellyn. Quimp and milweer. A drev, a drev, Llewellyn. A drev oedd ar lawr y glyn. O'r drwm oedd llaw y gelyn. O'r greilon ei goresgyn. Gaiaf, gaiaf, Llewellyn. Gaiaf, gwai, heb derwyn. I gwai, dar bond ar rywyn. I gormes a dychryn. Gwanwyn, gwanwyn, Llewellyn. Gwanwyn a gwyrdeg i ni. Llaweto gan a derin. Llaweto dydd dy fyddyn. Haf o haf ein lliw olaf. Haf o dyr bollau afau. Tan yn ein calonau. Tan i'r hynwlad barhau. Cofio Llywelyn. Mae hanes yn ailadrodd un â'r meddyn nhw. Wel, nesaf y gen i glywed gan Dr. John Davis Landesil. Mae John wedi bod yn ymwneud â'r seremoni yn i gofio Llywelyn ers blynyddoedd maith, maith, maith ac mae hi'n dipyn o ynesydd. Ac wrthyn ni'n rindo arno fe, felly ni'n feddwl bod modd dwy'n caffylybiaeth rhwng yr hyn sydd wedi digwydd a'r hyn sydd yn digwydd nawr. Dr. John Davis Landesil has been involved in the ceremonies to remember Llywelyn for a long, long time, and he is a considerable historian. Here, he gives us the benefit of his knowledge regarding events in medieval Wales, and we can think that history can indeed repeat itself. Well, he's a bit of 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 a bit Edward the Cantab and Tebby Gown here Pethanas from um, Owen Glyndwr a Henry of Pedwery. Ac oedd y Pethanas, yr un math o Pethanas sy'n gyda Mark Drakeford a'r Boris Johnson. Mae, mae'n uh, sylfaen ar hen hen Pethanas rhwng Lloegr a Cymru. Ac bod uh, a llywodraeth yn Lloegr yn Edrych ar ni yn Cymru fel Ail Rad ac uh, y llywodraeth ni yn Ail Rad. A roedd, roedd yn uh, traffedd, roedd uh, pob arweinydd Cymru wedi wynebu dros y ganrifoedd. Es amser uh, y cynnyn garwyn yn y, yn y chweched ganrif a, a pawb wedi wynebu yr un problemau. A mae'n, mae'n naid um, uh, ymdrech bydd rhaid uh, ar wainwyr Cymru yn naid uh, 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 i sefyll land dros ein glad dros y ganrifoedd ac os gwrs Llywelyn uh, ar um, y diwrnod hyn um, yn colli a'i bywyd uh, am ddiffyn ein glad um, a caesio edrych ar ôl y pobl. I'm standing outside Llandysil Churchyard and uh, uh, the reason for this is because this was the home of Owen Glyndwr's mother's family and they ruled from the building which is behind the camera that I'm looking at and it reminds us that the, the, uh, the campaign that Owen Glyndwr fought to defend Wales um, against Henry IV was exactly the same campaign that Mark Drakeford is facing against 
the uh, Boris Johnson government in London. The relationship between Wales and England has always, in the eyes of the English government, has always been that Wales is the second class and is, uh, where they, were, where they were actually called sub-kings to, to the kings of Wessex, to, to Alfred the Great. How, our famous Howell Var was, was considered to be second class uh, in comparison with Alfred. And the relationship has gone on in this form all the way through our history, since the 6th century, since Conan Garwin and the, the old uh, kings of, of Britain. So much so that, of course, we call our leaders these, these days um, uh, first ministers, but they were called princes for a long time because we weren't allowed to call them kings, which is what they were. And up until the, the 12th century, our princes were still called kings. Um, uh, Rhys Sap Tudor was the last king of South Wales, and Griffith Ap Llewellyn was the last king of North Wales. We're standing here to remember Llewellyn the last, Llewellyn Ap Griffith, because he lost his life actually defending the interests of Wales uh, uh, and the, the um, lack of, of, of um, support that Wales had received uh, for centuries in his day. Roedd Griffith a Brynad goch yn un o feir llus Llywelyn. A mae'n anodd i lawer ohono ni feddwl am Llywelyn ap Griffith ac i feddwl am ei farwolaethau heb feddwl am farnad enwog Griffith a Brynad goch i Llywelyn ap Griffith. Griffith ap Brynad goch was one of Llywelyn's court poets and it's hard for many of us to think of that time to think of Llywelyn's death without thinking of the great elegy which Griffith Abernad Goch wrote to Llywelyn, where he expresses his grief in cosmic terms, that the, the weather itself, the natural world around him, reflects the poet's loss and the loss to Gwynedd and to all of Wales. Marnal Llywelyn ap Griffith gan Griffith Abernad Goch. Oer calon dan vron o vraw, a llwynyn am frenyn dderwyn ddor y berffraw. A'r dilyf na delid o'i law, a'r dalaith o'i deilwng i ddaw. A'r gyrn a'r deirn, ni'm daw llywennydd, llywelyn, nid rydd i'm rwydd wisgaw. Gwai fi am arglwydd, gwalch di waradwydd, gwai fi o'r aflwydd o'i dram gwyddaw. Gwai fi o'r golled, gwai fi o'r dynged, gwai fi o'r clywed fod clwyf ar naw. Gwersyll cadwaladr, gwaesaf llif daradr, gwas rydd o'i baladr, balaw gaethaw. Gwasgarawdd alaf, gwisgawdd bob gaiaf, gwisgoedd amdanaf i amdanaw. Bi cheslawn arglwydd, ni'n llwydd ein llaw, bi chedd drag ywydd a drig i ddaw. Pon i welwch i hint y gwynt ar glaw, pon i welwch i'r derin am daraw, pon i welwch i'r môr am erwyna'r tir, pon i welwch i'r gwir yn ymgweir iaw, pon i welwch i'r hael yn hwyliar awyr, pon i welwch i'r ser wedi syrthiaw. Pon i chredwch i ddewdd yn iaddo'n ynfyd, pon i welwch i'r byd wedi'r bydiaw. Och, chi data ti ddew na ddaw môr dros dir, pa beth yn gedir i ohiriaw. Bob blwyddyn mae band Cambria yn arwain yr yr ymdaith i'r maen, a bob blwyddyn mae Adam Phillips y sylfaenydd yn dod lan ac yn rannu i farnau ynglyn â'r hyn sydd wedi digwydd yn y flwyddyn sydd wedi bod. Ac y lenni rwy'n falch i ddweud yn y fideo yma dyn ni'n clywed ganddo fe. Every year the Cambria band lead the procession to the memorial and every year their founder Adam Phillips comes and shares his views on what has happened over the previous year and the way forward for Wales. And I'm glad to say that once again this year we have Adam contributing via video. Hello, Simai. Adam Phillips. Uh, I'm Adam Bach there. That's, uh, I'm, no, I'm known on um, social media. Uh, from Cambria Band, uh, Yes Cymru, uh, Lindsay Garner, or Band Cambria, uh, Yes Cymru hefyd. Um, first of all, very sad, when she's down, but neither my very bod and Kilmary, very sad we can't be there. But uh, it's a good job that we're not going, because it would give the Unionists a chance to have a go at us and say that people in Wales can't obey the rules. So, 
apart from COVID, it's just been very negative in Wales. I think we've had quite a good year. It's been a, a positive year for Wales. It's been put on the map by uh, the Welsh football team winning the Nations Cup or the Nations League, our le winning our group and being promoted to uh, Group A. Also, in Wrexham, Wrexham Football Club, we've they it's been bought by two Hollywood superstars. Now, that's put the profile of North Wales, Wales itself and Wrexham on the map. And they will do a lot. It'll, there will be a Netflix documentary on the whole thing. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, it's put Wales on the map. Also, whether you like it or loathe it, it's been great. It's put the Wales on the map. The theme has been Wales. They've done a really good job and it's been mainly positive. What else? This weekend, uh, Elvin Evans, uh, oh, when you're watching this, it'll be the weekend before El you, you'll, you'll already know, where is Elvin Evans world champ. So he's putting us on the on the map even more with the, the World Rally Championships. So they're all positive things. On the negative side, the, the Unionists are reacting very heavily, very strongly to the success of Yes Cymru. Now, Yes Cymru have got the independence question firmly on the table and the Unionists are not liking it. So someone is throwing a lot of dark money at the Abolish the Welsh Assembly Party. It's very, you know, they've got an advertising campaign, they're out leafleting, so someone's paying for all that. So, you know, you've got to watch out for that. Don't react to it on social media, but again, ask people, you know, why... Do they support these people? If they talk to you about it, just say, well, why, why do you support them? And then talk to them around, what is a nation without its own governance? That is a simple question. Why wouldn't we want our own governance? Anyway, that's me rambling on enough. Um, then I get Minded Aid, um, we're going to give you um, heard, first verse and chorus. And then I'll finish my talk. Yeah, roll one, two. <laughs> Thank you very much. Another thing the band have been doing because of the negativity of COVID and their businesses, we've been trying to help sponsor some local businesses by basically promoting them wherever we can free of charge. So all our drums will have a rotation of different skins from different businesses. Uh, anyone that asks, really. So uh, you know, if you know what someone is struggling, uh, give us a shout. We'll put their name on. Uh, Name of their business on a drum skin. Right, Dirk Varian, the Dolly Chowney Pal, Happy Christmas, and we'll see you either in the Hope event or um, in on Dewey Sands. Right, Dirk Varian. When my co-fad Rithwirni and Dachred would be Ben now. At Yorki, Josh Fulcher, and then Von Vidjuatan Eager, Elizabeth Evans, and Kani. Sydd yn dangos hen arfer sydd gyda ni yng Ngilmeri o osod torchau. Torchau o eiddew o eiddi. O blygud dyna beth ar roddwyd ar ben llywyl yn abgriffydd gan ddynion Edward y Cynta yn ôl y sôn er mwyn neud i'r mygu fe. Well, we're coming to an end and we finish now with a video which Josh Fulcher has sent us with Elizabeth Evans singing and it shows one of the things that we do in Ngilmeri every year uh, we lay wreaths of ivy to remember the crown of ivy which was put on Llewellyn's head by Edward's men as a gesture of contempt. However, we now use that ivy leaf to remember Llewellyn of Griffith. And they're doing this in the remains of the abbey in Margam.
So we hope to see you next year at Kilmiri. And you can be the young Elmiri of Luithanessa, Lid Leni Vod. On Covio Naur, Luilin, either Lenuera Faub, Sidwedi and Mladi Gatu Flam, Kimrikto, and Hindus of Lenadoith. We remember now, Luilin, his followers, and all who have fought to keep the flame of Welshness alive over the centuries. Oh, <laughs> 